Updates to the safety footwear standard ISO 20345 have been made to reflect current working practices within industry that better simulates real-life scenarios. If you're issuing safety footwear that is not certified to the updated standard, this does not mean that your current safety footwear is now invalid or out of date. Safety footwear certified to ISO 20345 2011 is still valid until the end of its expiry date. It's normal for standards to be revised. This allows for more relevant and precise testing methods to be used, but also for end users to better select products suited to their specific environments. So, what changes have been made to the standard? Two new categories have been introduced. S6 rated footwear provides the same protection provided by S2, plus water resistance of the whole footwear. S7 rated footwear provides the same protection provided by S3, plus water resistance of the whole footwear. Markings for some of the footwear properties have been changed or added. The requirement for slip resistance has been made mandatory, meaning SRA, SRB and SRC will no longer be used. Changes have also been made to the way footwear is tested for slip resistance. This basic requirement tests the footwear's resistance to slip on a ceramic tile floor with SLS detergent. An optional slip resistance test can be carried out on a ceramic tile with glycerin. If the footwear passes this test, SR can be applied. Footwear designed for special purposes, containing spikes or metal studs, or footwear used in soft ground areas, does not need to be tested for slip resistance and will have this symbol applied. New test methods and markings have been applied for perforation testing, previously called penetration, on safety footwear with non-metallic inserts and insoles. The P marking will still apply for safety footwear with metallic inserts. PL will be applied for non-metallic inserts tested with a 4.5mm nail in diameter. PS will be applied for non-metallic inserts tested with a 3mm nail in diameter. Other updates to the standard include changes for specific workplace hazards. Water resistance uppers has been replaced by water penetration and absorption. Fuel oil is no longer included as part of S1, S2, S3, P1, P2, P3, but instead FO will be applied to demonstrate the resistance to fuel oil and petrol as an optional test to all exposed underfoot materials. An optional ladder grip property can be applied to footwear that meets the requirements used by firefighter standards. And an optional scuff cap property can be applied to demonstrate scuff cap resistance. This can only be issued if a hole does not develop through the full thickness of the scuff cap before 8,000 cycles have been performed in the abrasion test. Due to these changes made to the standard, safety footwear will start to carry different specifications. For example, this Arco boot, certified to the 2011 standard, has a specification of S3 FO HRO MSRC. Certified to the 2022 standard, it has a specification of S7 L SR WPA FO HRO M. It may be that you see safety footwear products on the market tested to either the 2011 or 2022 version until 2029. This is because footwear can still be tested against the 2011 standard until November 2024 and have a valid certificate for five years. Most importantly, while your safety shoe, boot, hiker or trainer certificate is still valid, you remain compliant. Visit our website to be kept up to date with all the latest expert advice.